I was raised in Rio, and I had an unbelievable childhood. An unbelievable childhood. My teen years were amazing. If you cut my legs and my arm, and you lock me to in, inside a black cell that I'll be fed only enough to survive. 20 years, for 20 years, 20 years from now, you're gonna open the door, you're gonna see a smile on my face. I say, a man who has the memories that I have, the, who lived the life that I live, can never be sad. You know, I'm never alone. It's like I'm always, even when I'm by myself, I have great company, you know, and, and this was this amazing lifestyle that I chose to live, you know, the jiu-jitsu that I embraced and gave me that. And it's like I have a, I had a very rich experience in what we call life. Welcome to the Gracie residence. Very unique, like my wife, all her taste. If it was up to me, everything would be mats. Every time I see open space, I see a mat on the floor. <laughs> this is the entertainment room, where my kids play chess, and I play backgammon, I love backgammon. We have a bar here for the guests. And everywhere you go here, you're gonna find a fighting book. <laughs> my old teacher, they used to say that fighting wouldn't take me nowhere. This is my first pride that I won. Pride number two, I fought a 51 minute battle with a guy uh, 60 pounds heavier than me. You know, in the end, I, that's when, when I create the guillotine with the arm inside. A nice pool table. And we always bring the friends and always have fun here. You know, it's, like, it's always a great time to cherish the friends and, and interact with them. And luckily I'm good on this, so I always beat them, which makes the experience more enjoyable every time. <laughs> this is the elevator that the dog uses when his, <laughs> his paws are sore, he barks at the door, so he brings him up and down the house on this elevator. And this elevator is gonna be waiting for me as I grow old, that I cannot go up the stairs anymore. This is the basement. I always laugh. My basement now, it's actually better than many houses that I live into. It has 4,500 square feet. It has a movie theater right here. We always watch all the fights and all the, the metamorphs and all the UFCs we watch right here. We have a very nice gym that we work out at home. On this room used to be mats. We pulled them out this week, and there's new mats arriving. Forrest Griffin one time said to me, like, you know, and many people talk about how nice Hanzo is. I said, nobody can be that nice all the time. You have to understand one thing, I'm, I'm from the mindset that if I'm not nice to you, I'm hitting you. <laughs> you know, like, it's black and white. There's no, and I would do it if I think you deserve it. You know, I won't hold it back. And I'll tell you why I did after, you know, if the insult is too big. So in, in reality, he met me and we had opportunity. I went to help him to do a, a, a footage, a, a shooting for, for a TV show here in New York. And after he looked at me, he goes, man, you are a really nice guy. He goes, I really thought you were a fake. I think he, you do that when you really believe jiu-jitsu is in you, you become uh, fearless. It's like, I'm not, so I'm not afraid to show who I am, to be who I am. You know, like I said, if I just met you, for sure I'm gonna have a smile on my face and I will extend my hand to you. If you decide to insult me, I will hit you. There's no halfway, and I will show you how I am, and you're gonna know, you know, and if I have to move a mountain to help a guy who I never met before, I will do it too. It's part of being a jiu-jitsu man, to be honest with yourself and to be confident in yourself, you know?
こいつはどっちかというとあの身長がでかかったんですよでかいなっていう手足が長いのでなんか組みついた時とかすごいやりづらいというか体重は同確か同じぐらいだったんですよ身長差が結構あったんでリーチ差があってあ興味ありますし変動,変動も興味ありますし、えー、でそのあまあや,やりたかったので。もう年齢的にも,もうや,れやれる期間も,もう少なくなってきてるじゃないですか、ね、<笑>変造だからさっき言ったようにやっぱりなんか打撃もできるしその寝技もできるしもうトータルです,す、えー、いろんな試合とかでやってるんですよねなんすごいなとは思いました。決めることがでできたんですけど、まあまあ、次はやっぱりあれから時間も経ってるしいろんな打撃なしだし、はい、打撃なしだとやっぱりそのスタートの距離とも全然違ってきますし。別のテクニックも身についてるわけですから。1日のその練習終わったら今日は昨日と違うこと何ができたかっていうのを、えー、昔の,その若い頃の練習と違って少し考える考えてやんないとダメだなっていうのになってきましたね。I really couldn't believe when I got the invitation to, to face Sakuraba in a grappling match. You know, it's a, it's a unique opportunity. Life, I was always a very lucky guy. Life, you know, used to bring my old problems always back, you know, so I can make them straight. And、uh, the next thing I see, I got a phone call for this amazing invitation, like to, to be able to sweat and, and test myself one more time against Sakuraba. I grab it immediately. My whole life we grew up like this. We trained the whole week. Yeah, when we were young, we trained six days a week. No, actually, we trained seven days a week, but five days at the academy, and on Friday night, we would leave to the mountains. We had a house in the mountains. When we get there, we had match there. So we trained Saturday and Sunday, Monday morning, we come back. You know, it was for years like this. We're at the academy, time to do some wrestling. We have the opportunity to train with Hamid, this old man. He's an old Iranian. They went to the Olympic Games doing wrestling.、And、he always comes here and h a v e the kindness to teach us some, some cool moves to take our opponents down. 
the concept that Metamore is has it, which is 20 minutes, no points. In reality, this is an old concept. That's how that's how every Jiu-Jitsu guy used to to have a, a match back then. I did many of those. I did an hour. I did two rounds of half an hour, a few times, you know. And I always loved that concept. But then you can you you're not stalling. You're not playing to make an advantage or a point to win a match. You're going all out trying to finish your opponent. A fight is only over when it's over. We don't stop. We're like ants. There's only one chance that I won't be there, is if I'm dead. 